subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Jarkali, India Shibani Mystery's husband went crab fishing for extra income four years ago only to die from a regrettably familiar cause on this West Bengali island, a tiger attack. We had very little money ahead of a religious festival and so he had no other option since a catch of the crabs only fetch a good price in the market, said Mystery, 35, who lives in Malipara village and depends on handouts from neighbors and a local charity. He went and he never returned. He was taken away by a tiger, she said. In the mangroves of Sundarbans, a lush green UN World Heritage Site spread over 7,700 square miles of mostly swamp between India and Bangladesh, every villager who is a crab fisherman or a honey collector has a tragic tiger story to share. The women, who are known as the tiger widows of Sundarbans, live lonely, impoverished lives battling more than just the loss of their spouses. USA Today tracked at least nine families who have lost male members to tiger attacks here. We live a miserable life, Mystery said. I have sent my son to live with my parents in Kolkata while I live here with my teenage daughter. She goes to school but I can hardly get him books or afford a private tutor. In an adjoining village, Aparnashali, 30, is a tiger widow who now risks her own life to go crab fishing. It was a spring day when he went crab fishing and never returned. Now I go crab fishing because if I do not go, my children will starve, said Shali, as her young daughter came running to stand by her mother. Kanan OJHA, 55, who lost her husband two decades ago, stares blankly. I am a living corpse actually. I had to face a lot since my husband's death. I was branded unlucky, OJHA said. I married off my only daughter and my parents-in-law are also gone now. Looking back I have lived a terrible life. Tiger attacks on the rise. Conflicts with tigers in the mangroves of Sundarbans is unavoidable for villagers who have no alternative livelihood besides fishing, honey collection and subsistence farming. Tiger attacks are increasing because of conservation efforts to protect the endangered animals, who are facing a steady loss of habitat and scarcity of prey. Sundarbans is home to one of the largest populations of the protected Royal Bengal Tigers, who coexist with nearly 4.3 million people. The West Bengal Forest Department puts the toll from tiger attacks at 10 every year, but villagers and social workers in the region say at least 10 tiger deaths occur every month. Ajit Bhai remembers his chilling encounter two years ago with a Royal Bengal Tiger when he lost his friend in the swamps of Sundarbans Forest. Baida had gone crab fishing considered more lucrative than common fishing when a tiger leapt into their boat and snatched his friend. As the animal dug its teeth into the neck of his friend, dragging him into the water, Baida put up a fight and risked his own life. I too jumped into the water and pulled my friend by his feet while the tiger was holding him by his neck and trying to drag him to the shore. It was a tug of war which I won and lost, he said. Conservation Gains and Human Losses Nilange Malik, Chief Conservator of Forest and Field Director of Sunderbans Tiger Reserve, said conservation efforts show that the area's tiger population is stable and improving. On the last tiger count in 2016-17, Malik said, cameras installed in the forests showed 87 tigers captured, excluding cubs. He said the actual number of tigers is much higher since cameras do not cover the entire area. As a result of concerted efforts under India's Project Tiger Initiative, the country is now home to the most tigers in the world, 2,226, according to the official 2014 estimate. That is up 30% from 1,706 in 2010. We have been able to stop organized poaching and the animal has a sufficient prey base, Malik said. To keep them away from humans, we try to barricade the villages with nylon nets or set up trap cages with live bait. Straying is a permanent issue. Hunting in the marshland is not easy for Sundarban tigers, so they see everything as prey even though humans are not their preferred food. Human beings are the easiest prey for the tigers when they come close to the animal, he said. Widows struggle for livelihood. The villagers of Sundarban whether Hindus or Muslims or Shibon Obibi, Queen of the Forest, who is the guardian deity, as well as Daklan Ray, the god of the tiger, 
before they venture out to fish or collect honey. But these deities do not always provide the hope for protection, especially if the villagers wander into areas restricted to the tigers. If loss of a loved one isn't bad enough, tiger widows often fail to receive government compensation they are owed because of corruption in West Bengal state, according to N.C. Jaina, who runs the non-profit Sundarban Tiger Widow Welfare Society. Widows interviewed in the villages said they never got any government support after their husbands' deaths.